Hello, I'm just doing another video about hip piercings. I was meant to do one like ages ago, but I never got around to it. So I'm doing one now. I've had my hip piercings for about 10 months now, maybe. But um, one of them was growing out. I'll show you a picture now. So yeah, it was growing out. I could see it was growing out. You know, I got the red line coming across, um, which sucks. Um, but everybody's healing process and you know how long they last it's all different um my left one is the only one that's growing out my, my right one is absolutely fine so i've took my left one out now um i'll show you that in a second i'm just going to wait for that to heal over then i'll get it re-pierced and hopefully i'll be able to keep it for longer this is what it looks like this is what this well it's only been out for about a day Yeah, I had it taken out yesterday, so it's obviously still red, obviously. Um, I'll probably do another video in about uh, a month, just to have a look what it looks like, because I was really concerned about the scar that would be left behind, so I will find out what that looks like. But I'm thinking about getting tattoos over it later on in life, you know, when I, I'm probably going to get them repaired again, and then when I don't want them anymore, I'm, I'm thinking about getting some tattoos over it, or something like that. I've not really thought about it yet um, so something about my hip piercings um, my ball one of the balls on the end had fallen off one day I don't know I probably didn't put it on tight enough or something so make sure if you change your balls do them tightly like obviously not too tight but tight enough sort of like you know you don't want to pull it as much as you can so you're twisting it just Make sure it's right to the edge because I don't know, I must have, I probably hadn't put it on properly. It's happened twice now actually. Um, I've just noticed that they've, it fall now. First time actually, they'd fell down my, down my trousers and they were like halfway down my trousers. So I pulled it back up, but it fell out for a while. I think I at least gone about, about four, four or five hours maybe without without the ball on it, and the hip person hadn't fallen out or anything. Um, but one time I had it out for quite a long time, but I couldn't get another hip piercing ball until like I was back home, and um, it had slid down a little bit, um, and I I can't I'm trying to think now. I think I probably had it out for about six hours that one, and it was about not it was less than halfway. But when I went to push it back all the way through, because it come come out slightly. Um, I found it quite painful. I think it started to close up a little bit. I don't. I had to help it. It was only a little bit. But somebody was having to walk by me, not my arm, and then it pushed through, which was quite lucky because I'm a bit of a pussy when it comes to doing stuff like that. Um, again, I said I'd let you know if I ever catch them. Um, I wear a lot of bracelets. I've not actually got that many on right now, but I wear. I, I'm always wearing bracelets, and if I'm getting dressed and taking my clothes off and putting them on, putting my trousers up. Sometimes they catch like not properly. They've never, I've never caught it. And it's tugged on it, but scraping across it and stuff just like scratches it a bit. So that hurts. Also, um, deodorant. One morning, you know, I just got my deodorant. You know, when you just put it up your top instead of doing it properly, I just shoved my deodorant up and then I knocked it on the way out, and that made it sore. You know, made it red. So I had to keep on top of it, cleaning it. It stayed red for a couple of days. I mean, if you, if I knock them or if I you know catch them on my hip like my bracelets, they'll stay red for about four or five days. And then they'll, they'll calm down and then they'll go back to normal. Oh, I didn't show you my other piercing. I mean, this one I've had in for the same time as the other one. But the other one's grown out, but this one is fine. As you can see, that one's fine. Another thing I was going to say is when you first have your hip piercings done, you get given a long bar to allow room for swelling and whatnot, and then you go back and they'll trim it down after it's healed, like, for a couple of weeks. Um, but my bar was still showing, um, but I didn't realise that they could cut it down anymore, so I thought, you know, it's fine. Because obviously you need the bit to screw on at the end and it, there wasn't any more of that to cut down. Um, but I went back and I showed them after so long, I was like, I don't like the look of this, you know, the bar's hanging out. And then I realised that they could cut them down more. So what they did, they took the balls off, they cut them down more, and like there's like this little metal thing that they squashed over it, and which made the indents for the ball to screw on. So 
if you feel like your bar is too long and it's definitely healed, you know, it's fine, but the bar is too, still long, they can trim it down. I mean, this is the this is the bar that I had. It's made it, it's, it feels like plastic. You know, it's plasticky texture, but it's not plastic, you know. Because um, obviously if you knock your piercing or whatnot, because I, I was talking about this in the last video, but I couldn't really show you. If you've got a metal bar and it's knocked, it knocks and pushes all the way through. But with this bar, because it's flexible, you know, it will take, it will absorb the knock and it will just bounce back, which is pretty easy. So it's not too much of a worry if you knock it as much. I could imagine metal bars being worse. So I really recommend these type of bars. Also, you know, they, I don't think they grow out quicker than other bars. It just all depends on your skin, depending to like how they grow out and whatnot. So that is them. Um, I'm going to make another video in a minute just showing you how to change the balls on the end and put them back on because, you know, a couple of people ask about that so I think I might as well just make a separate video put that up on its own. It's really easy. They both twist outwards to come back on and inwards so you don't have to hold the bar to do it. You can just use them both against each other to turn them. Um, thank you for watching. I really hope I helped you. If you've got any more questions, just send me a message. Um, another thing, I'm thinking about getting a nipple piercing, I'm not sure whether I will, but if I do then I'll make another video about that and let you guys know about my experience with it and if there's anything I could help you with. Thank you, bye!